You can easily add a booking page in Elementor, WordPress using Calendly. Calendly provides online booking services along with paid options with more features. Using Calendly, we can embed a nice looking calendar on your Elementor page. We can add, using Calendly, we can add a booking calendar like this over here. Okay, let it load. Okay, you see, you can add a nice looking booking calendar over here using Calendly without using, without installing any additional plugins or themes. You can simply add a booking calendar like this. Okay and it's also responsive on mobile okay um, the benefit of doing this is that if you use a plugin and install the plugin on your wordpress website in some cases you do not get the emails when someone registers you do not get the emails or the person who registered does, does not get the emails so it is very unpredictable if you use try to use a plugin and try to set up a booking platform okay you, if you so that's why it's better if you use calendly okay uh, and it is very reliable and you always get the emails okay so let's get started how we can uh, create a simple looking uh, we can create a booking calendar like this on your wordpress website on an elementor page or any other page if in wordpress okay so let's get started so this is the Calendly website over here. I'm providing the link of this website down in the description below. And or firstly, uh, you click over here, you come to the Calendly website and you click get started. And there you add an email address and sign up, okay? Okay, sign up. Okay, you can over here, you can choose uh, username and password so let me pause the video and create uh, okay after you sign up you'll need to you'll get an email to verify your account so click on confirm your email okay okay so then log in again great okay now uh, this is a completely new calendar account so you get the option over here uh, how to plan using calendly you can just simply if you're a personal uh, if you are on your own as an individual providing services such as consulting services you're a doctor and you need a uh, calendar for booking you can just simply on my own or you can choose this uh, with my team so i'm going to choose on my own and click on continue and then over here, like what is your services is about, you can marketing, recruiting, customer services, sales, education, finance, consulting, or other. So I can choose consulting. I can, I can click continue. Okay, great. It's loading. Okay, so over here, um, over here, you get the option over here, 30 minutes consulting by default this is like this or you can create a new event and you can one on one or one to group or collective etc but i'm going to choose you this show you the simple one one to one one host with one invite you great and i am the host over here next and over here you type in the event name i can just say uh i can just say market market consulting consulting okay great and it can be um you can choose the time over here i can choose uh, maybe if, um 15 minutes okay and i can choose it uh, you can choose the option to zoom call if you choose zoom call you need to connect your zoom account okay then it will automatically email the person with your um zoom uh, details also also let me see other options over here you also get google meet microsoft teams webex go to meeting etc zoom you can choose zoom and over here you need to connect your zoom account zoom is not connected you need to edit and you need to uh, connect it your zoom account okay over here okay then 
so as this is a demo i am not connecting my zoom account okay over here to so continue okay and let me just give in details okay over here uh, you can add the description this and i can add some details over here this is a marketing zoom call consulting on how to grow your business okay so just you can add more depending on you okay depending on your uh, uh the content of your discussion okay so you can just simply save and close and you see this is the preview of over here this is how the calendar the booking calendar is going to look over here title the host and the duration of each call and also the details up to here and this is the calendar okay with available timings okay you can click save and close over here okay then let me just say schedule settings okay schedule i cannot in uh i can not include friday i don't want to do it friday you can choose specific days and maybe i don't want to start from that early i can do from 11 a.m 11 a.m to 5 p.m or like 6 okay 6 p.m like this 6 p.m so you can customize each of the time you can choose specific dates okay and etc okay and so these are the holidays you can also have remove holidays okay uh, can you automatically do certain holidays ability okay fine you can uh, okay so this is the one so you can also add holidays over here and let's see okay so this is the one okay and save and close let's just let's try to refresh this and see how it looks okay uh, okay fine let's see the days see it's updated 11 am to uh, 6 pm updated and okay and you see these are the available dates over here uh light blue okay light blue are the available days okay and then let's go back and see if so there are other options you can explore um depending on your like time and availability okay and okay and booking page options ask you for name email plus one questions let's see uh name what uh, it's going to ask the user for name and email um sh please share anything that will... okay fine so mainly the name and emails are the important things because the e email is the important because it's going to send the zoom link uh to the person who is uh, signing up for the who is booking your services okay so it's going to send you the booking links okay and then uh let's see communications email communications that's that's going to be good enough okay so here you see over here 15 minutes okay and let me okay then let's create the booking page in the back end of our wordpress website so over here we see this is a wordpress website and uh, we have elementor installed over here this uh, website is built with elementor and we can use this over here and let's just create a new page so that's let's go to the home page and show you like let's click over here okay this is how the services so we are going to add a booking page on the over here in the okay okay fine so we can call this booking and publish okay great and edit with elementor if you are using another page filter make sure that you use the htm element to add the code that we're which i'm going to show you okay edit with elementor click over here we're going to use a simple uh, booking page it's loading the page
Okay. Okay, it's loaded. And now simply we can hide the title to make it no slicer. Okay. Uh, settings. Hide title over here. Okay, great. Now add a flexbox container and add a bit of padding. Padding top, padding bottom. And I can add a title over here. And I can say book by book our handy man services. Okay, fine. And uh, then we're going to add then we're going to add um HTML element HTML. Okay. Add it over here. Okay. And then we have over here, you see this is the this is the form over here. We can click over here. We can click over here and add to website. You choose this option, add to website. And inline embed, we can choose this one. Uh, Pop-up, I think it's better not to use a pop-up because uh, it creates, hinders the website user usability. Okay, so just use inline embed and continue. And this is the code you get over here, and you can choose the cost choose to customize the code. Uh, but for now, I can just keep it the way it is and just copy this code. And over here, already added the HTML element and just simply add the code. Okay. You see the calendar appears over here. So simply update it. Okay. And you can preview this page over here. Let's see how it looks. See, nice looking booking calendar okay now let's add this page to the front end of our website exit oh okay let's first let's preview this page great and on mobile it looks fine okay uh, scroll bar over here there's a you see a scroll bar no problem page looks fine great okay Maybe I can just do it custom maybe percentage D percent hundred fine. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay, just update and we can add the this book. Let's go to the back end of our website and let's add this booking. Uh, page to the navigation menu over here click over here and go to appearance menus and over here booking okay just booking option over here uh not this the main menu sorry this is the another main menu select select okay okay over here now you add the booking option over here booking great right? now save menu and then you refresh the page over here and you see the booking appears okay uh, let's just for now remove this contact we don't need this for now okay save menu okay let's go to the front end over here booking see okay now click over here and it takes you the booking page okay now let's uh, Try to test this out and see if it works. Okay. And let's book Thursday. Let's book uh, maybe 10 30. Next. You you'll have to put your name. Maybe so I'm booking myself, okay? By using another email address. Uh, Email.com. Okay, fine. You can add more guests if you want. Uh, and try to just add more details. I want to do marketing Zoom call. Okay, great. Now just simply click schedule event. Great. Uh, 
Okay, fine. And you'll get the email over here. Let's check my email. Okay. I come to the email which I used to uh, book. You see, I get the email over here confirmed. And if you connect this uh, marketing Zoom call, okay, fine, fine. And you can add this event to your calendar so you get reminded, okay. And if you um, if you add the Zoom, if you connect your Zoom uh, account with this over here, it's go automatically going to send you the link, okay. It's going to send the link of the Zoom call to the person who subscribed, okay. And you get the option to add to calendar so that it is going to remind you that we have a Zoom call coming up, okay, on specific date, okay, great. So you see that it's 15 minutes as we have set up 10.30 to 10.45. Great. Okay. So this is how it looks. And the uh, and, and you are also going to uh, get an email. Okay. We couldn't add the Zoom link because schedule event. So you need to connect your Zoom account if you want the Zoom. Uh, if you want them to connect the Zoom link. Okay. So, uh, contact your invitees or update the calendar event to add video conferencing details. To automatically add Zoom conferencing details to future calendar event, connect your calendar account with Zoom. Okay. So, you can do that. No problem later on. Okay. So, both of you are going to get the emails. Okay. So, that's how it looks. Uh, that's how uh, you can easily add a booking form uh, using Calendly. And it's very reliable. You are always going to get the emails, and it's very helpful. And uh, the most important of all, it's free. Okay, let me just log out. And let me go to the Calendly. Let me just show you. Okay, let me just show you the pricing over here. Okay. So it's always free. Okay, find one event with friend. Okay. Uh, I think for beginning it's going to be more than enough. Then you can choose other options over here, uh, depending on your needs. Okay, but for a single person, for individual, I think this is a very good service and it's for free. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.